Hello and welcome to another ICT lesson. Today we want to look at conditional operators in MS Access queries. And these uh, operators, we use them when you want to choose a certain type of data while you don't want to show a certain type of data. For example, in a list of boys and girls, maybe you want to show only boys and you don't want to show the girls. In that case, you will use a conditional operator to help you to filter the information according to the condition you are specifying. And in this condition, maybe you can say only boys, only girls. You could be having marks of students scored maybe in exam, and you want the query to show you only the students who scored 50 and above, and you don't want it to show those who scored below 50. Those are what we call conditions, and these conditions, in order to implement them on a computer, use conditional operators. I will show you a few of them here. The first one is what we call greater than, and it is written with that bracket. That is how we write greater than sign in computers, even in mathematics, it is the same, same symbol. And this one is used to compare two things. For example, you can say, look for marks greater than 50. In that case, you'll write, for example, like this, max should be greater than 50. So you can see here, the first item is compared with 50. And this sign shows, look for the ones which is greater than 50. Another symbol which is used is um, greater or equal to. Okay. We have greater or equal to. And this one is written with two symbols together following each other. We have greater than sign, then equal sign like that. And this one is used to check if the first item compared to the second, if this first item is greater or is still equal to a certain value. For example, I can say, a check if x is greater or equal to 100. In this case, I'm using this conditional operator greater or equal to to check if what is in x is equal or it is greater than 100. And if it is true, the result will, be, will come out as true. If it is false, the result will come out as false. The next operator I will look at is less than. We have less than a sign also. It is written like this. And this one is just the opposite of the greater than sign. Uh, for example, I can say, can you check maybe bank balance. Eh? Can you check if balance is less than 5,000? So here you can see we are checking a certain amount in the balance and we are comparing it with 5,000 by confirming if it is less than 5,000. That is how we write it. Then the other one is what we call less than or equal to less than or equal to and this one is written like this it has two symbol one for the less than and another one for the equal here we, we are confirming if a certain value is equal to a certain number or it is less than that number for example, I can say 
I know check if max is less or equal to 49. In this case, we want to see if there is any student who scored 49 or anything less than 49. And probably that person can be given a, a, a fail grade. So this, these operators are very important and they are used in queries, in access, and you'll be able to use them in this example. Another thing I want to show you here, we can check if something is not, we can check if something is not for example, if, if I have a list of students coming from different places and I want students who are not girls, okay, who are not girls, in that case I will use this operator not and we use it also in access to eliminate some things. For example, you can say, can you check students who scored not less than 50. That one means you are using the, the not operator to remove some people. There is also another operator you look at, which is called OR. Here you can, you can uh, search, for example, look for students who scored 70 and 80 exactly, okay? Look for student who scored 70 and 80 exactly. This one is also used in access queries. So all these operators, I will show them practically in MS Access query as follows. I have a, a database called school here. I will open it in access. And in this uh, table, you can see here. Uh, I have a list of students, Alex, Anne, Apio, Atuman, and they are of different gender, male, female, mixed like this. And they come from different classes, class 7, 8, 9, like that. And also they belong to different houses. Some are coming from south, north, west, east. And they scored different marks, as you can see there. Now, I want to create the first query. I want male students. I want only male student who scored the highest marks. Male student who scored the highest marks. <coughs> now, in that case, I will create a query. I will just come to create and come to query design. You click it. In my query design here, I will be asked to add a table. Then right now I have only one table student, so I will just choose it and click add. Then expand this window. Now down here I have design view of the columns. So I want to show all the columns, so I will double click all of them like this, like this like that so when i run this query since i have not given it any condition you can see it is showing me all the content of the table i'll switch back to the design view and i want to design a query to show me male student who scored highest marks so i will come to this row this is criteria row this one i will come to this criteria row under gender, I will type capital M to represent male, then I want the, the max, this max column in the query to be sorted or ordered from the highest max to the lowest max. So in that case, I will come to another row. The row is written sort. You can see sort. I will come to the sort row under max and choose here there is a drop down a combo box here with drop down arrow i'll just choose descending 
So I am telling the query, this is the condition. Choose a male student and list the marks for male students from the highest to the lowest, or rather in descending order. So I will run the query and you can see all, all the male students are listed with the marks arranged from top to bottom. And you can see Douglas is the highest male student with 91 marks. I will come and save this query. Maybe I call it male highest mark. Then I will click OK and I close my query. The next query I want to make is I want a female student who scored the highest marks. So I will just come to create query design. In the query design here, I add my table, close this box, then I will use this design view, the table columns. Double click on the columns. Come to my gender because I want a female student who scored the highest marks. Under criteria, under gender column, I will put capital F. And under sort column, in the, sorry, in the sort row, under mark column, I will choose descending to sort the marks. Then I will run my query. You can see I have all female students and their marks range from top to bottom. And the female student who scored the highest marks is Anne with 72. I will save this query. Let me call it female highest marks. Highest mark. And I will close the query. The next query I want to make is I want students who come from east and west houses only. If somebody comes from north or south, I don't need. So in that case, I will come again to the create query design. I will add my table. Close this box, then I will come to my table columns, double click them, double click, double click, double click, double click. If you don't double click them, it will not be shown in the query. So here, I want student who only come from east and west, and I will come to the criteria row here, under house, and type east. So it will choose people from east. And I will also come to this row written or and type west. What does that mean? It means choose only student from east or west. Anybody who doesn't come from east or west, don't list. So I will run my query. You can see only east and west houses are included in the list. I will save this query as maybe east and west and close my query. The next query I want to make is I want a list of students who come from east, west and south but not north. So I want a, all the students except somebody coming from north. So in that case, I will come to create a query design, uh, add, close this box, pull down my columns here for the query, add name, gender, class, house, max. Now, I want all the students from all the houses except people from north. So in that case, I will come to under criteria row here. The criteria row, 
I will I will type not I will type the word not then I write not okay what does this mean check all houses and list them except not not okay when I run my query you can see all houses are listed except not is not appearing I will save this query not not the next query I want to make I will just close this query I want a list of students who scored 50 and above a list of students who scored 50 and above I will just come to create query design add my table close so I want a list of students who scored 50 and above add my columns now since it is max I will come to this column for the max under criteria and type using operator greater or equal to 50 okay and this is what I was showing you how we use them it means check max check in the max column if it is greater or equal to 50 and list it when I run I can see all students who scored 50 and above then I will save this as 50 and above next I want a list of students who are female and scored less than 50 I want only female students who scored less than 50 not all, all students who scored less than 50 only female and second condition they scored less than 50 so I will come to my create query design I will add my table close this box pull down the row the columns for the query add the columns in the design now the first condition they must be they are, the students I'm choosing must be female so I'll come to the gender column and type F the second thing I want to do I want to check their max they should be student who scored less than 50 and they are female so I will come to the criteria row again under max and use less than sign I will put less than 50 okay that means check if max is less than 50 and also choose only female then I will run this query you can see there is only one female student who scored less than 50 and that student is Mary so I will just save this query as female less than 50 that is how we do it students you can see how we use different operators to filter the information in the table and from these queries we can prepare reports which we can print and can help the management of the school to make decisions thanks a lot for participating see you next time bye bye